I just washed my beauty blender to do this review and then I realized it's a cushion foundation. I don't need a beauty blender. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. <coughs> I'm a little sick right now, so if I sound a little weird or I stop to hack out a lung, that's why. Anyways, so I promised you guys that I would do this review on the new Laneige BB Cushion. Now this has been out for a while in the States, but it, we just got it here in Canada, so <laughs> here it is. So today I'm going to be trying the darkest color. This is in the shade Cacao. And um, I know that the cushions come in like different kinds. There's like a matte one and a radiance one. This is the radiance one. This is the BB Cushion Hydra Radiance. I believe this is the only one that we have in Canada, I think. I don't think we have the matte one. And this is a BB Cushion. So it's not really like a foundation foundation. It's a BB cream in a cushion form. And it also has SPF 50 in it. So I'm going to do a test to see if there's any flashback with it as well because it does contain SPF. And this is the darkest shade in the line. Like, to be fair, the line only has like six colors. <laughs> but as you guys may or may not know, um, Korean brands usually only have like three, maybe four colors. Like, if you actually go to Korea, it's like shade 23 is like a common shade there. And this is shade number... 37. So this is the darkest shade and I'm a 390 in Fenty. Fenty goes all the way up to 490. I mean, I can't expect Asian brands to have colors that look like me if I'm in Korea, but if you're gonna come here, then like, who are you marketing to? Let's just get into the review right now. So this is what it looks like here. If you open it up, it comes with this cushion, which is blue, which is really cute. There is the cushion inside, so that's what it looks like. And then it also comes with a refill, which is great. And the whole thing is supposed to be about 1.05 ounces. For reference, this is my NARS foundation that I always use. And it is one ounce, one fluid ounce. So just looking at the color right now, um, it looks pretty dark and it looks like it might match me. I have tried the tester on in store, like on my arms, but I have not tried this on my face. So pray for me guys, pray to the K-beauty gods. I've also never used a cushion before. Fun fact, so if I'm doing this terribly wrong, I am so sorry. Are there instructions for this? Apply by pressing the puff into moistened sponge and pat onto face. Reapply throughout the day if desired. Press. Ew. as expected but that's totally fine I don't have very many skin issues but if you do it's not gonna provide you with like any coverage really I feel like my whole face is like blushing right now because it's so pink but the shade is like correct it's just and the the undertone is not I don't know why Korean brands make their foundation so pink like Asians aren't even pink I don't understand like she cute but she pink okay so i'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and we'll see okay so i finished my base makeup and i kind of like it like look at, look at my face and my neck my neck is so yellow and my face is so pink like i really like the finish of this foundation and i like the pinkness too which is weird but like compared to my neck it's just like girl like if you look at it without looking at my actual body like 
actually really like it. I love the finish of it. It look my my skin looks airbrushed. But oh, but look at my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to complete the look and come back to you guys. Hold on. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel like I match this wall right now better than I match my own body. I actually really like it. Like, I can, I can almost look past the pinkness, guys. I can almost look past it. <laughs> So, in conclusion, I kind of like this cushion. Guys, oh my god, it's my first cushion. I'm no longer a cushion virgin. This is my first cushion, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Though I hear that there are some amazing cushion foundations out there, unfortunately, because of my skin color. <laughs> I can't try the vast majority of them. Also because I live in Canada, it's very hard to get access to a lot of them as well. They either don't ship my particular color to Canada or shipping literally costs like three times as much as the product. So I'm really glad that Laneige came out with something like this and that we have it in Canada at my local Sephora where I could just go pick it up anytime I want to. That's actually really nice. And I really hope that this is like the beginning of something where we see more Korean beauty brands expanding their lines, expanding their shade ranges, because I should not be the darkest shade in anything ever. Like, I'm literally 10 shades lighter than the darkest Fenty color, so we have, a, we have some ways to go, guys. But anyways, am I going to drop my NARS foundation for this one? No, <laughs> I still love NARS more than anything in the world. My NARS Macau matches me perfectly. It is the perfect foundation. However, I do like the cushion and I am going to be using it. So I'd probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5. Once again, don't really have much to compare it to in terms of cushions, but you know. <laughs> comparing it to other foundations that I've tried. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a quick flash picture just to give you guys a little bit of a flash test. So this is what it looks like on camera with flash. Not like I take any pictures with flash anyway, cause I don't go anywhere at nighttime. Once the sun is down, I'm at home guys, okay? You trying to get me out there after nine o'clock, it's not happening. So if y'all don't mind looking a little pink, I would actually suggest picking this up. There are only six shades though, so the chances of finding one that matches you are pretty slim. <laughs> That's the only issue that I have with Korean brands is that even when they come here, they still only have the Korean shades for the most part. And like, that was cool in Korea, but here is not really cutting it, bro. And if you want to compete with all these other brands, these American and European brands, then like, you're gonna have to step your game up. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I don't usually do reviews, so. I know that there's like a lot of K-beauty stuff and not a lot of people who look like me reviewing them so if you want me to review something I will try my best to get my hands on it and do a review for you guys so let me know in the comments below I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you in the next one